SBR Forum's Inside the Lines is sponsored by Bookmaker. We are previewing week 13 in college football here at SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We're talking right now with returning guest Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. Joe Duffy, thanks for being back with us this week. Peter, it is always a pleasure. Thanks for having me back. Very few people have me back more than once or twice into their house, but I guess since we're in different continents, I can actually be invited back. Well, I know you gave us Vanderbilt last week, didn't you, in college? Yes. Yeah, that was a great pick. I wish I had tell. I didn't have the guts. Anyway, we're going to start here with Wisconsin at Penn State. Now, this one, I think, of all the games that you uh, said you want to talk about, might have the biggest edge. Penn State is a two-and-a-half or three-point home favorite. And, of course, Penn State is not eligible for, uh, for postseason plays. This is their final game of the year. Wisconsin is coming off a tough loss to Ohio State, and this game doesn't mean a whole lot to them. They're looking ahead to the Big Ten championship for sure. Uh, I'm thinking that Penn State, you know, minus two and a half or minus three is the obvious play here situationally. But that maybe that's just a little bit too easy. Is that what you like? No, you are exactly right. One of my golden rules of handicapping is that it's impossible to manufacture emotion. It actually has to be there right. now. Part two of that is there's always a point of diminishing return when it comes to emotion. But Penn State, because of all this stuff, we don't have to rehash. We know all the reasons. Penn State's really the one team that's been riding emotion all year long. That is why they are 8-2 and two against the spread. But more particularly, I think there have been three games where the emotion really stood out. That's when they played Illinois because Illinois was the only Big Ten team that was recruiting Penn State's players. Penn State was quite frankly, pissed off, and they took it out on Illinois. Their homecoming game, as we said in the analysis on our premium picks, in the history of college football betting, I don't know if there would ever be more emotion attached to a homecoming game than there was there. It was a chance not just for the fans to rally around the players, but actually for the players to rally around the fans and the supporters. That was our game of the year against Northwestern. Well, this is actually senior day. And among it, Penn State is going to be hurt by the fact that their star defensive player, Michael Motai, is injured. However, conversely, he's been the most outspoken critic as far as us against them. Right. Uh, we can debate whether or not his anger is directed in the right direction. He's really had it more at the NCAA. But he, this injury, while it hurts Penn State badly as far as the personnel on the field, it's yet one more thing to rally around. This is, quote-unquote, Penn State's true personal Big Ten championship game and their bowl game. And also it's one of the it's the third of the three games that really jump out where emotion is going to be such a huge, huge factor for Penn State. And it's I think just too much for Wisconsin to overcome, especially since the first two big emotional games for Penn State, they were quite impressive. I think they'll make it three out of three in this one. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense to me. I'll tell you the two things. That in, in our last, uh, when we previewed uh, the Vanderbilt game, I, I played devil's advocate. I'd like to play devil's advocate again here. Uh, just the two things that concern me, I guess, is just that these situational factors that you just talked about, everyone knows about. So why then is the line so low? Maybe the line is just so low because that's what the math says and the modelers are the ones who you know dictate what these lines are. And then the other one, I guess, just playing devil's advocate is that Wisconsin was kind of like, you know, uh, you know disappointed with their loss in the last game. And they do kind of need a signature win. So even though they're looking ahead to the Big Ten championship game here, maybe they come out here and, and get a signature win to prove themselves that they can get a good win over uh, you know, a decent competition. Uh, what do you think about either of those issues? Yeah, in all my years of handicapping, I don't think that the odds makers weigh very much the quote-unquote intangible stuff right, because they a fellow can. handicapper likes right. to call it the emotional stuff. They will weigh the more tangible as far as um, you know, like a sandwich game or a letdown game, but they don't really have much of a history of factoring in uh, people handicapping emotion. I actually totally disagree with you. I think another factor in Penn State is Wisconsin's coming off of such a heartbreaking loss, but they did win for losing, for lack of a better term. So I think last week's result, if anything, took a lot out of them emotionally yeah. and physically. So I think that's really in Penn State's favor, not in Wisconsin's favor. And in theory, you know, they could get a signature win in the Big Ten title game, maybe in right. a bowl game. But uh, no, I don't think all the emotional stuff is really pointing towards Penn State. And personnel-wise, Penn State can more than hold their own. And of course, yeah. they've got that normal home field advantage. But in this case, the home field advantage is much larger than normal. No, I completely agree with you, Joe Duffy. I'm completely sold. Penn State is the side here. Thanks so much. Great preview.